How dangerous was Perth and Warbeck? In 1491, Warbeck was working as a silk merchant and arrived in Cork, Ireland, aboard a, mer a merchant ship. The Irish were supported of the Yorkist family, and even though Warbeck was French and spoke the English language poorly, the people of Cork believed him to be the Earl of Warwick, to which he responded that he was Richard, Duke of York, one of the princes in the tower. This made the rebellion dangerous, as Henry couldn't disprove Warbeck as being Richard, as nobody knew what had happened to the princes in the tower, where they were, or where their bodies were. This also meant that Warbeck had more political legitimacy to the throne than Henry, due to pretending to be Edward IV's son, and Richard the third nephew, which meant the people may build support for him as he is more deserving of the throne. Warbeck trained as a pretender in Ireland, but gained minimal support and fled to France in 1692, where he was warmly welcomed by King Charles VIII and about 100 Yorkist supporters of the Yorkist house. However, Henry signed the Treaty of Etaples later that same year, which required Charles VIII to withdraw his support for Warbeck and expel him from the country. He then moved to Burgundy and was greeted warmly by Margaret of Burgundy as her nephew, who was the aunt of the princes in the tower. This also made the rebellion dangerous as it legitimised Ward Warbeck as being Richard, as he even had the support of Richard's aunt, who passed him as her nephew, meaning that the other rulers and the people of England and Europe would also identify him as Richard. Henry realised this and took immediate action by cutting all trades with Burgundy in 1393. In 1494, Warbeck gained the support of the Holy Roman Emperor, Maximilian I, who recognised him as King Richard IV of England. This made the rebellion dangerous, as Maximilian was believed to be the strongest ruler in Europe, who would be able to destroy any resistance that Henry could possibly build against him. However, Maximilian had difficulties at home enforcing his own authority. So, Warbeck used the support of Margaret of Burgundy to invade England by landing in Deal, Kent. However, this was a disaster and Warbeck sailed to Ireland after 150 of his troops were killed before he had even landed. Warbeck met heavy resistance in Ireland and fled to Scotland, where he, kept, where he gained King James IV's support and married his distant cousin, Lady Catherine Gordon. This exposed how many rulers could seize Warbeck as Richard and also identified the danger Henry faced as Warbeck was able to gain the support of the majority of rulers of England and their neighbouring countries. During this time, Henry set up a spy network across Europe to identify supporters of Warbeck, which exemplified the severity of the rebellion to Henry's position of the throne and how Henry was willing to take drastic action to solve this issue. With James's support, they attempted an invasion of England, but nobody south of the border was willing to support him. After realising that Scotland was beginning to ally with England, when Henry offered James to marry his eldest daughter Margaret, he fled to Ireland in 1497, but was again unwelcomed, and he attempted another invasion of England through Cornwall. With an army of 6,000 Cornish mercenaries, he declared himself King Richard IV, before advancing towards the capital for Exeter. This identifies the danger of the rebellion to Henry as Warbeck had amassed an army and had made himself a physical threat to Henry's reign. This rebellion was also dangerous as within the space of three years, Warbeck had invaded England three times with the help of different foreign rulers back in him. However, Warbeck deserted his army when he realised Henry's forces were coming, resulting in the surrender of the Cornish army and Warbeck being captured in Hampshire. Warbeck was imprisoned at the Tower of London and treated well, but he made sure to keep a watchful eye on him after two escape attempts. Warbeck was punished.